70 year old woman going through a bipolar disorder, a manic situation. She locks herself in the bathroom and the police come. They taser her, they taunt her, they laugh at her. Here's part of the video. They knew she was mentally ill, 70 years of age. Her name is LaDonna Paris. There's more video. Here it is. Nobody's trying to kill you. I love my job. Laughing, right? Now, I'm going to prove to you that they knew this was, in fact, a mental health issue. I have more video. You see, according to the report, those officers contacted the crisis response team. But according to them, the crisis response team was on another call and not available at that moment. Here's what else happened. I'm gonna kick this door down and rip you out of there. It's Raiders coming. Jesus, Jesus. You wanna get tased? Yeah, they come out. You wanna get tased? Don't do it. She's so 85. I don't even know what this lady looks like. Is she white? I have no idea. What are you doing? Is that a bat or a jail? Are you doing a bat? Oh my god, you can stop. They then ran in, kicked the door in, decided to taser a 70-year-old woman, elderly woman, who they knew had a mental health condition. This is why people don't like the police. They knew she had a mental health condition because you heard the officer say she is so 85. 85 refers to a state code that means mental health disorder, a mental health issue. They were well aware. I mean, damn, does this make them feel good, strong, tough? Would they want someone to handle their 70 year old grandmother or mother this way who's going through a mental health crisis? That woman had to be scared out of her mind. And this is the way the police protect and serve. To taser a 70 year old mentally ill woman. You can't make the argument for the police here that somehow they were unaware. They didn't know all the facts. They did not have all of the information. They were insensitive, they laughed, they mocked, disgusting. LaDonna Paris is her name. After being tackled, police said in their statements, she suffered a minor injury to her face during the arrest. Um, they call this minor. Her nose is bleeding, the whole side of her face. Is injured. Those are the injuries that we can see. I'm sure she had others. She's 70 years old. LaDonna spent a month in jail on charges of arson, trespassing, resisting arrest, and other charges before a judge dropped them all. Dropped all of the charges, citing that she had a mental health condition. They tried to stack charges against her. Some of those charges didn't even fit. They didn't fit, even if she did not have a mental health crisis. Tulsa Police Captain, here it is, the cover up. Uh, Richard. Mullenberg, here's what he said about the arrest. And I quote, to be clear, the banter between the officers outside the presence of the suspect can be received as unprofessional and has been addressed with the officers. I talked to them. However, the captain said that the overall actions within uh, the overall actions of the officers and the way in which the call was handled is within the policies of the Tulsa Police Department. 
Let's put up a picture of a man who likes to beat up elderly people, obviously. Let's put up a picture of the captain. That's Captain Richard Mullenberg. He's he's okay with cops beating up on elderly citizens. Y'all need to get rid of this clown and every clown that thinks like him in your city. Because I promise you, I promise you, they're gonna pay a settlement at some point. And if you are anti defunding the police, stop hiring and allowing corrupt and negligent cops to be on your force. You pay for it one way or the other, don't you? All right, let's talk your thoughts on this case. Yeah, just real quick, you know, Biden passes a budget and there was a lot of police funding in there. So I'm hoping that some of it goes to creating social welfare programs. Um, for instances like this, because we ask the police to do a lot, right? And they are not trained to deal with mental health issues. Um, but you're putting a lot on people who barely made it out of high school, right? The minimum requirement to be a police officer is a GED. It doesn't require any type of real discipline um, or education or anything like that. So um, I really hope that this is, I really hope that in our spending plan, that we start to migrate more towards getting social help for people with mental illness and stop treating them like criminals.